Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create snack bar in Sketchware. A snack bar appears something like this. They appear at the bottom of the screen and they can be removed by sliding them to the right. So I will just show you how to create this in Sketchware. In Sketchware first we need an outermost layout. So here I will use a scroll V, V scroll 1, set its width to match parent and inside this I will add a linear V with match parent width. For this V scroll I will set padding to 0 and now in this layout I will add a button and in the event of button 1 on click I will display the snack bar. Now in order to display the snack bar First we need to switch on app compact and design. So here I will switch on app compact and design. And now in button one on click I will use this add source directly block and here I will write snack bar. Now in order to write snack bar we have to import it by writing android dot support dot design dot widget dot snack bar. So this is a snack bar. Then we have to write a name for it sb is equal to then we have to write snack bar again snack bar dot make now inside this make first we have to write the outermost view which is v scroll 1 in this case v scroll 1 comma we have to write the message here this is my message then another comma and here we have to write snack bar dot length long or snack bar dot length short length long will mean 4 seconds and length short will mean the snack bar will appear for 2 seconds. So in order to write snack bar we have to write this complete thing android.support.design.widget.snackbar dot we can write length underscore long then bracket close and semicolon. So here we have defined a snack bar we have created a snack bar by using this make. Now we can show it by writing sv.show. So this will display a snack bar. Now let's check this. Okay here when I click the button it displays this snack bar at the bottom with text this is my message and I can slide it to the right and remove it. Now suppose I have several different buttons and I want to display several dif means different messages on button click. Then I can create a more block using this code. For that I will just copy this code and remove this add source directly block from here. And then I will go to more block and here I will create a new more block with name. snack bar message and with a string variable called text. So this will be my more block snack bar message text and here I can use this add source directly block and put the same code which I had put in button one on click. Now here instead of this message I will use the string variable text and in this case in sketchware the string variable is underscore text. I am using this string variable and sketchware automatically adds an underscore before this. So that's why I have written underscore text. Now I can use this more block on button 
click. So, on button 1 click, I can use this snack bar message block and I can write my message. Orange on button 2 click, I can write some different message. Red and on button 3 click, I can write a different message. Banana. Now let's check this. Okay, so here when I click the first button, it shows orange. When I click the second button, it shows red, and when I click the third button, it shows bananas. We can also add a button to the snack bar by writing first the snack bar name which is sp dot set action and in bracket we first have to write the name of the button so let's name it as dismiss followed by a comma and here we have to set an on click listener for this button so here I will write new view dot on click listener this is the same code which we use for creating an on click listener for any button normal button so here I will write new view dot on click listener ok here I have an open curly bracket and I will just close this open curly bracket after that I will close this normal bracket and then I will put a semicolon and in between I will write add override public void on click And inside this view v followed by this curly bracket and next I will just close this and in between we can write the code which is to be executed when that button is clicked so now I do not want to do anything when that button is clicked so I will just leave it empty so let's check this So here you can see that when I click on any button it displays a stack bar with this button dismiss and I can click this button it will display this it will dismiss the snack bar or we can perform any other activity on clicking this button by adding codes on button click. So that's all in this video I hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this.